Project 16 is momentary alarm. When you first turn on the slide switch, the speaker may play the happy birthday song once, but if you want to replay it, you would have to hold down the press switch throughout the duration of the song or otherwise the music will stop if you let go. For some reason it sound, the music sounds distorted, but it's louder because I'm not using any resistors like I did in the previous project. Now, if you hold down the press switch, it will, the music will repeat itself. Project 17 is an alarm circuit. Now, this is a natural alarm, and this is going to be loud, so please turn down your volume. I'm going to turn on the slide switch, and you hear an alarm that sounds like a police car siren. And ideally, on real-life police cars, amplifiers are used to make circuits like these sound much louder so that other vehicles and people can hear it and get out of the way. 18 is laser gun. When I turn on the slide switch, the circuit now sounds like a laser gun and... This could be an effect heard in many science fiction movies and TV shows. You can move the switch on and off at different intervals to add sound effects to games or recordings. Project 19 is Space War. This project will demonstrate the different tones on the space war integrated circuit. It produces sounds that resemble those of a space battle that you may hear in a science fiction movie or TV show. I demonstrate you heard some of the sounds earlier in other in a previous project, but this project will go through with all the sounds that this component has. When I turn on the slide switch, you hear what might sound like a space gun firing, a space machine gun. And then you can turn the slide switch off and hold down the press switch. And you hear all different kinds of sound effects. Sorry, the wind. And then you can Turn on the slide switch to that might sound like an alien spaceship or aliens. A wide variety of noises. This is just like what is used in science fiction movies and shows by film technicians and they get paid to make these sounds when guns are fired or battles take place in outer space in the movie. You could example try making your sound occur at the same object at the same time an object hits the floor but it's not as easy as it may sound. And I'm sure in real life, it's very difficult to time the animation of or firing of a gun, for instance, and the sound of it so that they occur at the same time. Project 20 is light switch. I replace the slide switch with the photoresistor. And when I put the battery in, the integrated circuit immediately produces sounds. You can try covering the photoresistor to turn the circuit off to stop the sounds. But when you remove your hand, they start again. 
in this in, in this circuit, the photoresistor is controlling the electrical resistance and the resistance increases when light cannot reach the photoresistor, therefore preventing current from flowing. But you could also hold down the press switch instead, especially if you're in a dark room where there's no light. But every time you cover and remove your hand from the photoresistor, the sound changes, just like what happened with the slide switch when I kept turning it off and on. Pretty cool. Photoresistors like this one are used on many devices such as street lights, but I can tell you more about those later when I start projects that involve them. Project 22 is light police siren. When I turn on the slide switch, you're going to hear a combination doorbell and police car siren. And it sounds distorted, it's not the best. But when I put my hand over the photoresistor, all the sounds stop. When I remove my hand, they start again. You can hear the happy birthday song play it. Now there are four variants of this project. What you would do is, now this project has four variants in which you can get different sounds. For the first variant, I'm going to make a connection between points X and Y with a three snap wire. And now the sound from the alarm integrated circuit is that of a machine gun. What's interesting though is that between intervals of firing, the music actually stops. That's because the alarm IC sound is controlling the music IC sound. When there's no sound from the alarm IC, like between the intervals of firing from the imaginary machine gun, there's no music I see sound either. For variant two, I'm going to remove the connection between X and Y and insert one between T and U. And now you hear a fire engine siren. For variant three, I am going to remove this connection and insert one between points U and Z. Now you hear what sounds like an ambulance siren. Now sound is distorted once again, and it may sound like video game music rather than an actual siren. Now for the last variant, you would remove both of these connections and insert just one between points T and U. Now they say you're supposed to hear a familiar song with static, but I don't hear that. I just hear the fire engine siren. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if it has to do with my batteries or what, but there are all four variants of Project 22. Here is clap sounds. I'm going to turn on the slide switch. You hear very faint music and a police car siren. Now I'm going to tap the whistle chip. I can't clap because I'm holding my phone, but the whistle chip will cause the music and sound to start again. It's not very loud. And like the previous project and many others, you can change the variance, which I will do by making different connections. You could make a, another connection between these two points and you'll hear what sounds like a machine gun. Make it sound like a fire engine. 
like an ambulance, and then a familiar song with static, which sounds just like very into the fire engine siren. And just tap the whistle chip to get the sound going again. Project 32 is voice like diode. When I turn on the slide switch, the LED comes on and it might stay on for a short while and then go out. When it does, I will either clap loudly or talk loudly. I'm going to talk and it might trigger the whistle chip and turn on the LED. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Anyone? Nope, that doesn't work. So I'm going to have to tap it and it comes on. And you can see it flickers and it will stay on for a little bit longer before it goes out. You can just repeat what I did to get the LED back on again. Now, it stays on as long as music from the integrated circuit is playing. Now, I know this may not be very exciting, so I'm just going to replace the LED with the speaker, and now you hear different sounds. You can hear different space war sounds. And then they'll stop after a little while. When you tap the whistle chip, a new sound can be heard. Now the music integrated circuit, once again, is controlling the sounds through the speaker, controlling the space war IC sounds, and also the You know, it sounds like a chirping bird. Now, you can't really hear the music. The space war sound is much louder than it, but it is playing. Project 34 is motor space sounds. When I turn on the slide switch, you'll hear some noises and after a short while, they will stop. They change a little bit. Then when they do stop, I would turn the motor and they start again. The motor is acting like a switch because turning it produces mechanical energy which is converted into elect electrical energy to power this circuit acts like a switch and the motor can be a very simple example of a dc generator now alternatively i can remove the speaker and put the led in its place and turning the motor will now cause it to come on and it will stay on for a while before it goes off again. I forgot to do project 35 after 34 and this is motor space light. I replaced the speaker with the LED and now when I turn the motor the LED comes on instead of a speaker sounding space war sounds. And the LED may flicker according to the sound that is being produced because in this case, the two integrated circuits are controlling the current going through the LED. And then the LED will be on as long as the music integrated circuit is playing. This could be like a silent space war and you could use a circuit in places where people may not want to be bothered, like in a library, for instance. I'm not going to go through all the sounds, but 
hopefully you'll understand the idea of the circuit. Project 36 is Space Battle 2. This circuit is based off of Project 19. I'm going to turn on the slide switch and you'll hear a very interesting combination of sounds which make it a unique space battle. The sounds change on their own, unlike other projects in which you need to activate switches to make the sounds change. The motor here acts as a three snap wire and does not have any other function in this project. Project 37 is silent space battle. I replaced the speaker with the red LED, as you can see. And now when I turn on the slide switch, the LED turns on and off in different combinations, according to the sound. You could pretend that you're watching a science fiction movie or TV show with a space battle and the LED can resemble the picture that you are seeing of the battle going on, but you can pretend that the volume is on mute and you can't hear anything, but you know what is going on because you see it. Project 38 is periodic sounds. This is a circuit that will switch between sounds from the music integrated circuit and sounds from the alarm integrated circuit. In addition, the lamp here will flash on and off. Here we go. You can hear that the speaker is alternating between sound from the music, between music and alarm sounds. Project 39 is blinking double flashlight. I replaced the speaker with one of the LEDs. It doesn't matter which one, but when I turn on the slide switch, instead of the speaker alternating between sounds, although very hard to see because of the sunlight, the LED, as well as the incandescent bulb, will, will alternate between being bright and dim. The flashing of these two lamps may remind you of a traffic warning signal with lights that alternate on and off. 